Shoba Fanas, it's your boy The Croft and I'm back with another fire episode. This time I'll be reviewing my latest drone which is the Nazgul Evoke V2. This drone is actually produced by iFlight. I'm sure everybody knows about iFlight. If you've been flying drones long enough, iFlight is one of the best distributors of FPV drones in the world to, to be frank. And yeah, um, I've had this baby for like a month now. So I'll be giving my beginner review of the Nazgul Evoke V2. So in this review, I'll be reviewing according to four to five categories. The first category being wind resistance. So this is basically how the drone keeps up with high wind speeds and low wind speeds or whatever conditions, weather conditions that it may face over time. This is that category. Second category is the speed. So the amount of speed that you can push out of a drone is basically what I'll be rating it under in this category and the third category will be maneuvers or maneuvering rather so basically how it moves well how many tricks you can do in the sky and like what are your capabilities in terms of movements that's another category that i'll be rating this drone under the third the fourth category would be user interface so basically how user friendly you know setting up this drone is and how easily it is for you to fix it or have fail saves or whatever the case may be how to set it up how to easily take it out of the box and start flying then the fifth category would be safety features so your fail safes rather hashtag or slash fail safes that's what we're rating it under so in the first category being uh wind resistance sorry i almost lost my thoughts there wind resistance i'd give it a 10 out of 10 this thing literally cuts through wind like nobody's business um i was actually quite surprised because i used to fly the avata before and the avata used to struggle but because of its size and like the material that it uses and it's you know it's um it's weight i think maybe that's another reason why you know it just literally cuts through wind like like hot, a hot knife through butter so in that category i'd give it a 10 out of 10 um in the second category being speed i'd give it a 10 out of 10 again coming from an avatar moving from to uh, a nazgul evoke which is a six inch bro this thing is a machine bro in the beginning i couldn't handle the speed it's like driving a picanto then moving to a ferrari like overnight that's how it feels like i'm not gonna lie this thing is powerful bro like it's really really powerful you'll even see from the footage that i'll be putting on your screen right now you know it's really really powerful even its acceleration rate it's very very fast like bro like not to a hundred probably in like a second two seconds like bro like it does other things bro so i'll give it a 10 out of 10 in the speed category in the maneuvering category i'd give it a 10 out of 10 okay let me be fair let me give it an 8 out of 10 for now because i'm a beginner but however uh in the maneuvering category in some cases i do find situations where i do backflips and you know rotations and i experience a, a bit of prop wash but it all depends on like how you uh, manage your, your your drone and like your rates and all of that stuff i feel like if i tinker with it a bit more i should be able to fine tune it to that sweet spot where i can avoid the amount of prop wash that i get the fourth category being the user interface i would definitely rate this below five i'll put it actually at a four because it took me about three weeks to set it up and that's a bit terrible for you to like you know if you're a beginner drone pilot and like you just want to get started it's it's quite frustrating having to you know struggle to set up your drone and you know uh, set up things and do all these things like i had to go into like community 
you know, forums and all of that stuff. Get in touch with other drone pilots in order for me to get assistance. Support from iFlight really couldn't assist me because also with the time, um, the time difference, it was a bit difficult getting a hold of them. But nonetheless, they have the best support. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, you know, kudos to these guys. Like, they're doing an amazing job. Um, but yeah, in terms of user interface, it's I'll give it a four. Like, because yeah, um, setting it up was a bit difficult. It was really, really difficult. I was even like giving up at some point, you know. I even thought that, you know, I wasn't going to end up flying my drone at all. So user interface, I'll give it a four out of ten. Then the last category being, um, let me just check, safety features, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. You know, with FPV drone drones, these um, other FPV drones that uh, in comparison to like DJI, like I said, I moved from a DJI Vata, the Vata 1 to this. Like there's a huge difference, like return to home and all of that stuff and hovering when you lose signal. That stuff is not available. Return to home is available because I have a GPS. However, I haven't used it or anything. I haven't been in a situation where I needed to use it. So, you know, and I've tried using the the return to home settings and it, like it will literally drop down. So like I would attribute this uh, to the uh, the fourth category, which is user interface, because um, I'm not really good with setting up these things as a beginner. Like it's very difficult. So like, uh, the, the, the fourth category kind of trickles in into the fifth category because of I, I'm unable to set up things like it's a bit difficult for me to like, you know, um, get the uh, the safety features working and all of that stuff. But yeah, um, if you've been if if you've watched till this point, sorry, like I'm <laughs> like I'm losing my words, but if you've watched till this point, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, comment down below like my video please share it you know it's a very short video but I'll, I'll be playing some of the, the the footage that i've taken you know at the end so you guys can see you know uh in terms of the categories however or examples or i'll attach the videos that i've actually shot to actually test it out at the end i'll put an end screen for you to watch but if you've been to this point of the video i love and appreciate you guys you guys keep the channel going you know you guys have been loyal you know showing me support you know i'm growing let's just try and get this page to like 500 subscribers that's my goal um before the month ends hopefully we can have 500 subscribers but yeah uh shout out to everybody that's you know been supporting my page and i appreciate you all this is my honest review of the nazgul evoke v2